what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen YouTube channel after using this room for more than two days now which is called descendant OS which right now installed on my Redmi Note 9 Pro I am fully satisfied and the room is quite good it has some little bit of options little bit of obstacles which you can face after using this build like some apps are not supporting some little bit of things here and there but this is not a big issue it's almost available in all the Android 11 based custom rooms this one is called descendant OS which right now I've installed on my Redmi Note 9 Pro it's a mutual build so it can be installed on Redmi Note 9s Redmi Note 9 Pro Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro I'll put a link in the description if you talk about the installation just install the zip file and then so that's why I'm not gonna share with you the installation I'm gonna share with you some little bit of things about this latest build of Descendant OS which is the official build let's get started as we're talking about the Descendant version 11 as you can see which is based on Android version 11 and the build seems to be really nice a battery friendly build performance is up to the mark Almost everything seems to be perfect till now we have the latest January security patch with the latest Ask Master kernel for the Redmi Note 9 Pro and version based on Android version 10 for the Redmi Note 8. If you haven't checked it out you can go and check it out and also I'm gonna share with you very very soon the review of Descendant OS version 11 for the Redmi Note 8 users. I've tried that using it from some time that's quite good also. This one Descendant OS and Descendant OS always includes some unique kind of UI which was in Android version 10 also but in Android version 11 yes we have something new interesting UI the new brightness slider no event schedule and some new UI at the top of the status bar and some other things. This is called this is actually a Google Apps build so Google Apps are pre-installed in my case and also in Redmi Note it also Google Apps are pre-installed. So let's see about that what is the default launcher you get here. Unfortunately, not a pixel launcher pre-installed, still a quick step launcher, which was unexpected, but yes, it is. It is what it is. So we have the quick step launcher pre-installed, which have the icon pack support. So this seems to be really nice, but other things has the same kind of things, including the developer options. Some little bit of extra options are available here, which is yes, quite good, but pixel launcher is always recommended. Let me tell you one more thing. We have these four buttons available which were quite great that this option this option this option this option this might be the screenshot one if i'm not wrong yes this is a screenshot option which you get here and wait let me show you we have this clear all button option available here and okay so let's open some apps here once so that it will show you like this now we have this option this is also the one might be the four stop and one might be the clear all so these are some interesting options you get in the descendant os default launcher Moving on to some other things, the UI seems to be really easy and user friendly and you can use it for the some time very easily. Performance, I didn't got any major issues still now. Performance is up to the mark. Battery backup is up to the mark. Also, let me show you my battery stats first of all by going into settings and battery. We have a more than 10 hours of screen on time already with 17% battery still left. This was from 96%. So you can say it's maybe 89, sorry, 79%. And with 79%, I got 10 hours plus screen on time. You can see last full charge is 36 hours ago, which is quite great. And last 36 hours ago, I charged my device even from before that I was I started using this build. And yes, I'm fully satisfied after using this build, after using it for some time, didn't got any kind of issues at all. At Sikta, we have some new kind of UI options available in the battery and descendant idle manager option is available here too. We also include this latest option, which is called descendant health. It will show you the total cases and critical cases, which I didn't notice if it is working or not that they are saying it's working. And as you can see, Following data has been updated 17th of Jan today, which I am updating, which I am making this video. And yes, they are saying that it is updating. So this seems to be really nice till now. Apps and notification as Sikta has the same kind of UI. What you got to know is we have some new kind of icons options available here. We also have the rate ticker option available, which is not available in all the custom rooms, but yes, it's available here. 
Talking about the battery, as I previously shown you, this is same here. Display also has these kind of icons options available. Other things are same here. We have the thumb UI, which is actually a Samsung One UI kind of thing in the settings. We have the double tap to wake. Styles app is quite good. You can customize your own style. As you can see, default one is green and something same kind of lineage US. But the second one, which I have customized, is the new one. You can also customize by clicking here. We have many fonts options available. So it does not include any kind of major customization but basic things are included here so there might be no issues available here and there for you you can also create a own custom theme without any issues sound storage privacy sector same kind of things are available security includes the face lock and fingerprint both available at once but unfortunately the app locker is still not available so this thing you need to keep in mind system includes the same kind of things gestures languages and input and etc Going for the gestures, we have some extra gestures options available. Quickly open camera, activate the torch, system navigation, we already know, swipe to screenshot, power menu, and skip music tracks. So all the basic features are available, it included all these things. It does not have a dedicated menu for all those features, but all the basic features are included in these sub menus. So this seems to be really nice. Other things I have already shown you these were the things i just wanted to let you know it also shares with you some a little bit of force closes let me find out and let me show you which force closes i was talking about guys i got to know that chrome is not even working i tried chrome beta version i tried the chrome canary version chrome developer version chrome normal version nonetheless was working so this might be the issue for you chrome is not working we also have this app which i tried which was not working available at all retouch keeps stopping these are some force closes which i got till now these are not big issues but yes if you are a chrome user unfortunately chrome is not working at all so you need to keep this thing in mind and if you're still looking to install this build the link for this build is in the description this is all from today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye